Good morning and welcome to our rehearsal once again. It was lovely to see so many of you last week with our Zoom rehearsal. Once again this week we return to YouTube for the benefit of those of you who are unable to join us via Zoom. Uh, and we've got three new cracking folk song arrangements to cover today. May I invite you to please stand. Let's start with a stretch. Stretch to the ceiling. Tiptoes, if comfortable for you. Bring your arms down slowly. And gradually collapse with a heavy head, heavy arms and uncurl. Up to a stretch again. Stretch even taller than you did first time. And bring your arms down slowly. Now very, very gently, please breathe in through the nose and blow out with a wonderful controlled out breath. Very, very gentle, very, very calm. Breathing in. This time as you breathe out, imagine that there's a candle flame and that you're blowing that candle flame, but not in such a way that it wobbles crazily but actually where it's sort of just very, very constant and even. Again, in through the nose and blow. Let's do the same thing again. This time, close your eyes as you blow out and just visualize um, somewhere that is a wonderfully calm place for you. I'm going to imagine um, the estuary uh, near Dolgethley in Barmouth, which I think is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Uh, but you will have a similar place for yourselves. So breathing in and and breathe normally. I'm going to give you a G major chord. Hum any note from that chord in your own time. Off you go, humming from that chord. I'm now going to go to the relative minor of that chord, which is E minor. Stick with the same note if it still fits. Some of you will need to have adjusted. I'm going to go to C major, adjust if you need to. Find a note which matches that chord. Going to go to the relative minor of that chord, A minor. We're going to go to D major with the seventh note of the scale. Again, a hammer note which matches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we go back to our home key, G major, where we started. Keep humming, keep lots of space at the back of the throat. Let's imagine a bit of resonance on your nose. As you're humming, please now slide down from that note that you've chosen mm, into your boots, back to the note you've chosen. And let's go up, let's siren up there, keep it spacious even though you're humming. Mm. We're going to start our rehearsal proper with Blow Away the Morning do you this is a fabulous um arrangement of, ch of folk church songs most of you will know very very well i'm sure and it's by philip lawson and published by shot and i whole wholeheartedly recommend it um many of the folk songs in the book are for two for two voices we're just going to look at the melodies today with with philip lawson's accompaniments and um but you know i, I recommend the book wholeheartedly if you want to to, to spend a bit more time with these great arrangements. So, I think many of you may recognise this from one of Holst's uh, band arrangements, the opening melody. I'll do it a cappella first of all. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. And the, the arranger, Philip Lawson, has just put that as his open line. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. With their emphasis on sweet, a slightly longer note. Let's try that together. Blow away, two, three. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. 
Okay, so you're gonna get a little introduction into that. When I look at you, let's sing. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Here's the intro. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. And then the accompaniment sort of starts proper with a, a lovely sort of ja. Alright, and then we come in. I'll do it slightly under tempo, first of all, but it is a nimble folk song. There was a farmer's son, kept sheep all on a hill. Your turn, two, three. There was a farmer's son, kept sheep all on a hill. My turn. And he went down one May morning to see what he could kill. Your turn, two, three. And he went down one May morning to see what he could kill. Let's do that line again. He went down, two, three. And he went down on May morning to see what he could kill. And then the chorus comes in. And sing, blow away the morning dew. The dew and the dew. Blow away the morning dew. How sweet the winds do blow. The second half of that chorus or of that refrain um, being the same as our introduction. So I will sing from and sing blow away the morning dew and then if you could sing the same. And sing blow away the morning dew, the dew and the dew. Your turn, one, two, three. And sing blow away the morning dew, the dew and the dew. My turn, blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Your turn. And then we have our second verse with a little interlude between it. He looked high and low, he cast an under look, your turn, and my turn. And there he saw a pretty maid beside a watery brook, your turn, three and with watery you'll see that the way we've printed the words it's watery we sort of compress the word a little bit and then our refrain returns now verse three um, is a little slower and it's approached like this sweet the winds do blow you'll hear the music is modulating and at a slower tempo my turn Cast over me my mantle fair and pin it on my gown. Your turn, three and. My turn. And if you will take hold my hand and I will be your own. Your turn, three and. And if you will take hold my hand and I will be your own. And then, rather than singing the whole refrain, the arranger does this. And sing, blow away the morning dew. And it becomes very sort of ethereal for, for verse three. So let's do, and sing, blow away the morning dew with the dew lasting a long time. One, two, three. And sing, blow away the morning dew. Then in the original arrangement, when we're all together, we could then answer, blow away the morning dew. All right. Then verse four, also within this new key and at a slower tempo. If you come down to my father's house, which is boiled all around. So we have to go da di dum da da di da dum da 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 to have everything scanning. My turn, your turn. If you come down to my father's house, which is boiled all around, your turn. Two, three. If you come down to my father's house, which is boiled all around. My turn. Then you shall have a kiss from me and twenty thousand pound. And if you can hold that pound for a long time, 
Not only a kiss, but also significant money on offer here. One, two, three, and... Then you shall have a kiss from me and twenty thousand pounds. And then it takes us back to our opening key, back down the tone, to exactly as we had before. So our pickup word. He mounted on a milk white steed, and so likewise did she, two, three, and... So lots and lots of quavers there, aren't there? He mounted on a... Hip Whoa, words in a muddle. He mounted on a milk white steed, and so likewise did she, two, three, and four. All right, next little bit. And then they rode along the lane, so gallant, swift and free, two, three, and four. Then our refrain, verse six. My turn, your turn. And again, we've got a little da di da dum da 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 da. My turn, your turn. But when they came to her father's gate, so nimble she popped in, two, three, and four. Turn and said, There is a fool without, and here's a maid within two, three, and four. And then our refrain, let me just remind you and sing, Blow away the morning dew, the dew and the dew, turn one, two, three. My turn. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow your turn. And then we have a little interlude. Like we had at the beginning, and it ends exactly the same way that it began. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Right, so let me just summarise the shape of the piece. Little intro. And then we're in with our introduction, vocal introduction. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Which is the second half of the refrain. Verses one and two are fast. Between every verse, there is a little interlude of some sort. All right, a little interlude of some sort. Um, and then verse three and four, more slowly sung. The modulation working like this. To cast over me my mantle fair. All right, at the end of verse four, the reminder where we sung um, a long 20,000 pounds. 20,000 pounds. And then, before verse 5, we're going to sing that little introductory bit again. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Leading into the fast verses 5 and 6. And then that appears again, right at the end. So you kind of get it three times. At the end of our track today, I will include the recordings that I've made of uh, the accompaniments to this arrangement so and they're, they're sort of ni nicely mixed as well so feel free to sort of go to the end there um, to sing that I will sing a version now with you but then there's also that accompaniment on offer right at the end of our YouTube clip for you to use for your your own benefit without my singing <laughs> sweet the winds do blow. There was a farmer's son, kept sheep all on a hill, and he went down one May morning to see what he could kill, and sing blow away the morning dew, the dew and the dew. Blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. Cast another look, and there he saw a pretty maid beside a watery brook. And 
dancing floor, away the morning dew. The children and the dew blow away the morning dew. How sweet the winds do blow. Cast over me my mantle fair and pin it on my brow. And if you will take hold my hand, and I will be your own, and sing go away the morning dew. If you come down to my father's house, which is watered all around, then you shall have a kiss from me, and twenty thousand Likewise did she, and then they rode along the lane so gallant and so free, and sing blow away the morning dew. The dew and the dew, blow away the morning dew, how sweet the winds do blow. But when they came to her father's gate, so nimble she popped in, and said, There is a fool without, and here's a maid with him. And sing blow away the morning dew. The dew and the dew, blow away the morning dew. How sweet the winds do blow. Blow away the morning dew. How sweet the winds do blow. Wonderful folk song arranging there. We now are going to move on uh, to another gem of an arrangement, much, much more gentle, all referencing sleep with golden slumbers. I would suggest that many of you may well know this one as well. As before, my turn, your turn. My turn. Smiles awake you when you rise. Your turn. My turn. Sleep pretty baby, do not cry. Your turn. Verse 2, there's a little interlude between all of the verses. Care you know not therefore sleep your turn. My turn. While all thy youth are watch shall I keep your turn. And then verse 3, well, that is identical to verse 1. Golden slumbers. Smile. 
When you have a folk song which in its original form is as beautiful and as simple as that it's, it's lovely to have an arrangement which sort of just sort of pays homage to the the beauty of the original uh, and that certainly is a gem just like the first song that we looked at today the uh, piano accompaniment version of that is included at the end of our youtube rehearsal for you today we now have the Lass of Richmond Hill, and it sounds like this. On Richmond Hill there lives a lass more bright than May Day morn, whose charms all other mates her pass her rose without a thorn. Okay, probably the least well known of the three that we've looked at today. My turn, your turn. On Richmond Hill there lives a lass, one and three. My turn. More bright than May Day morn, one and more bright than May Day morn. My turn. Whose charms all are the maids of her pass, one and three. A rose without a thorn, your turn. And then I sort of did a little refrain. This lass so neat with smiles so sweet. One and this lass so neat with smiles so sweet. Has won my right good will. One and has won my right good will. I'd crown to resign to call her mine. One and I'd crown to resign to call her mine. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, your turn. And then we get a real sort of refrain building up. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, your turn. My turn. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, your turn. My turn. I'd crown to resign to call her mine. One and I'd crown to resign to call her mine. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Almost like a bell chime right at the end there. Okay, verse two. My turn, your turn. How happy will the shepherd be? A one and how happy will the shepherd be? My turn. 
who calls this nymph his own one hand. Or oh, may her choice be fixed on mine one hand. Or oh, may her choice be fixed on mine. Mine's fixed on her own. Oh, your turn. And then it's identical to verse one. This lass so neat with smile so sweet has won my right good will. One and this lass so neat with smile so sweet has won my right good will. My turn. I'd crowns resign to call her mine. One and I'd crowns resign to call her mine. My turn. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, your turn. My turn. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Your turn. My turn. I'd crowned resign to call her mine. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Your turn. And then our final verse. Ye zephyrs gay that fan the air and wanton through the grove. One and Oh, whisper to my charming fair, I'd die for her alone. Okay, and then we have our I'll say maybe we've had before, let's sing it together, this lass so neat, and uh, one, and this lass so neat, with smile so sweet, has won my right good will, I'd crowned resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, I'd crowned resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. And then there's quite a quirky little ending to round it off. There's an introduction, there's an interlude between every verse, and you get to sit and just listen to the outro at the end. Lass of Richmond Hill, arranged by Philip Lawson. On Richmond Hill there is a lass more bright than Bayday Whose charms all other maids surpass her rose without a thorn. This lass so neat with smile so sweet has won my right good will. I'd crown to resign to call her mine. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. I'd crown to resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. How happy will the shepherd be who calls this nymph his own? Or oh, may her choice be fixed on my mind, fixed on her alone? This lass so neat with smile so sweet has won my right good will. I'd crown to resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, I'd crown to resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. The zephyrs gay that fan the air and wanton to the grove, oh, whisper to my charming fair, I'd die for her alone. This lass so sweet, with smile so sweet, has won my right good will. I'd crown to resign to call her mine. Sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill, sweet lass of Richmond Hill. I'd crown to resign to call her mine, sweet lass of Richmond Hill.
thank you for joining our rehearsal. Do use the accompaniments which I've added at the end of the clip to sing without my, my voice um, supporting you, without that distraction. Thank you once again. I very much look forward to seeing you on our next video or at our rehearsals that we are, are conducting via Zoom um, more frequently now. If you'd like to find out more about the choir, um, please do contact us on our website and uh, it would be lovely uh, to welcome you to our membership if you are, are new to what we do. Have a lovely week. See you at our next rehearsal. Bye bye.